People think that entrepreneurship is all about the business. That's not true. Absolutely not true. Once you know yourself, who you are, what do you want, what you already know within yourself, you will definitely be successful. That I guarantee you. Hello and welcome to another episode of Personal Development for Entrepreneurs. I'm Ikram, together with my mentor and good friend, Dr. Venga. As usual, tonight we've got a very special episode and it's to discuss an interesting topic again, how to free yourself from insecurities. Good evening, Dr. Venga. Good evening, Kram. Good evening. <laughs> So um, we all deal with insecurities, uh, most of us, even me. In fact, prior to me coming and um, uh, talking to you as a mentor four years ago, uh, I think it's going to be five years later. Yes. Yeah, soon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, all right. 2017. <laughs> yes. Yes. And... Uh, uh, Our time flies, huh? Absolutely. Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes, it does. It does fly. So I, I, I came to you as a person with a lot of insecurities. And today, uh, I'd say most of it has subsided or is under control. It's not as bad as it was before. Um, and, and I think it's something that most of our audience would also like to know because we all deal with this um, either in the workplace, either in personal life or in relationships. So um, tell us, Dr. Ringa, why, why does it happen? Well, you know, actually, Ikram, <clears throat> it's a very simple solution. I mean, simple way of looking at it. You can either do it in a very complex way or look at it in a very simple way. It's up to you. But mm -hmm. tell me this, Ikram. Uh, do we choose to be born? No. Do we choose to die? No. So every human, every living thing in this world, they will die, isn't it? That's right. Absolutely. You will be born, you'll be dead. Mm -hmm. How many humans do you think has accepted that? <laughs> Very few. Very few, exactly. Very few people accept that. If you accept that I will live and I will die, there is no insecurity. You, you're dead anyway. Now, instead of living the life, we are so bothered and upset with so many things, huh? we forget to live. Huh? Insecurity starts with a simple thing like that. Huh? All of which... Huh? is self-inflicted, not even in, uh, drilled with us. It doesn't come with our, uh, our birth. It doesn't come with uh, evolution. <laughs> you know, human evolution. No, it is something that each individual literally built the insecurity inside them. You can blame, Lana. The industry, you can blame that industri industrialization is the cause of human misery. You can blame that. You can blame on indoctrination by the, by the Western world. Uh, and then we are poor because of that. You, you can do that. You can call and, and, and literally blame everything in the world huh? mm. and say, it is because of this I'm insecure. But it is you, 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 the person, must understand that everything is within your hand. It is in your hand, literally in your hand, to be secure or insecure. Because if you accept death, then you are insecure, isn't it? But you have accepted the fact that I will die, and therefore, hey, whatever happens, happens, no? mm -hmm. So added to that, we also have this tremendous uh, stupid thinking, la, fear. 
uh, uh, you know what, Ikram? That's why people thrive. The entire world thrive from film industry to music to everything else, to drugs and what have you. Fear. We create a fear. If you don't have it, you feel insecure. If you have it, you feel insecure because somebody will steal it from you. Relationship, fear, insecure. So the whole thing is evolved. You are the, you are the reason. Of course, of course, psychologists will sit down and write tons of book and case study and all that. This is the behavior pattern. When you were a child, you were treated like this and therefore you feel insecure. School, school bullied you and therefore this thing has come with you. Child, come sit down, pay me 250 ringgit and I'll talk to you every, every week you come to me. It's a business. Lah. Am I talking rubbish or am I talking some sense? Ikram, tell me. Yes, you're talking sense. Huh? Isn't it? We create mm -hmm. it ourselves. No? Then we create a doctor, psychologist. Nowadays, uh, psychology has drifted into, no, no, I do anthropology, you know. Uh, and and, and uh, I look at the manner in which you are talking and therefore, all sorts of bloody nonsense like we ask me. Look at me, Ikram. I'm 83 years old, okay? Have I ever been insecure? In, from your experience with me? No, no. <laughs> why, why not? Because what people think about me, I am not even bothered. I am not bothered. Okay, people say I'm insecure because my financial affairs are not so good. Insecure, right? It's insecurity, right? Oh, I got this, I got that, I got to pay this. Hey, who asked you to create all that? La? <clears throat> if you have four houses and you live in one and you can't rent the three houses, what should you do, Ikram? Sell the houses. Insecurity goes away, right? Correct. No, cannot. I have to have the four houses. I got to live in my house. And I have to have this and I have to have that and I have to have that and a little bit more. I'm insecure. Is, is that insecurity or stupidity? Ikram, you tell me. Stupidity, of course. Of course. Now, if I say, if I, because I'm saying it, I'm saying it because Insecurity is, you are the cause of your own insecurity. In whatever it is that, that okay? a marriage, a relationship, bringing up your children, sending the kid to school, everything is, you are insecure because you are afraid that something might happen which you are not aware of. Hey, let the world move on, learn. Huh? If it happens, it happens. La. But doesn't mean, doesn't mean I can, on a highway, eh, like uh, our highway, mm -hmm. I, can, oh, I don't care what happens to me, I'll run across the road. If I'm uh, to be alive, it, I will not get killed. That is stupidity. You should not run across the road, right? Yes. Huh? Or yeah. drive at 150 kilometers like some of our kids with these little cars they have, you know, tin can cars and all. They drive at neck breaking speed, you know, overtaking, cutting in, cutting in, causing accident to other people, causing issue, the motorcycles. Eh? Because why? It is their own insecurity that leads to all of this. It is a human phenomena created by the human themselves. It doesn't come with you when you're born. Nothing. No human has that data. Insecurity is something that you yourself develop. Instead of enjoying life, you are bothered with what is going to happen, what is going to happen. 
why am I like that? But of course, but of course, there is people are afraid. And, 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 and the problem is like this, Ikram. Mm -hmm. Once you understand, hey, I will die anyway. And I accept that. I have scared that. If it happens, it happens. So will my insecurity become less or more? Less. It should be less, right? That yeah. is the basis of insecurity. If I may just give you an introduction of what insecurity is all about. There, there, are, there are many things. Lana. Many, many things. Huh? Uh, first of all, Ikram, understand this. And, and you know this for a fact, Lana that we are, we are all, as human, we are all uh, rural in the sense that even in this country, in Malaysia, we were actually farmers in some way. Huh? Yep. Okay, even though we are migrant, huh? Our, if you trace back, like I've traced back my own ancestry, my grandfather was born in 1876 in Kuala Lumpur. He had a uh, more than a hundred cows huh, supplying milk to the Singapore cold storage, and so, so we are, and and so, but he sent his two, he has got three children, one girl and two boys. Huh? The two boys went to Victoria Institution, the the school at which you also came from, huh? one of you. <laughs> and then what happened? Okay, both of them went to Singapore and all the rest of it. Okay, but. We came from there. What happened in Ikram is that from rural life, we go to city life. And therefore, our, our impression of a city life is uh, America, big building, tall building, rushing around, uh, you know, trying very hard to become, uh, uh, how, how do you call it? Get more money, get this and get that. And in that process, what is happening is that we try to compete with other people, try to live like somebody else, want to be like that. Um, and, and that competition leads you to this situation where insecurity begins to come. We buy a house, we can't pay the loan and all that. What, 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 what's your view on, on, on this subject? What, what do you think is the reason? How, how, do you, how do you see it? Do you see it my way or do you think there is another way? I I um, I actually agree with you that um, uh, one thing I really feel you were spot on is insecurity comes from fears. You mentioned that just now, and uh, it's the fear of a lot of things. It's for in my case, I know it was the fear of what uh, uh, the fear of people, you know, uh, not accepting me or people not. Uh, 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 thinking highly of, of, of me as a person uh, that, that, that then defines how you do many things and it's usually done to please others and rather than uh, rather than doing it for yourself uh, for me I think that's the that's where it stems from uh, fear okay but you know F E A R fear right False evidence appearing real. Correct or not? F E A R, fear, right? False evidence appearing real. Real. A lot of time, huh? the evidence presented to you is false. <laughs> we believe them. Oh? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Huh? <laughs> like, like, does it really matter whether you are the first boy in the class or the fifteenth boy in the class? Does it really matter? No, it doesn't. Just go, learn something, experience it, no? and move on, right? But okay. no, no, I, I, I want to be the top of the class. The rest of you should fail. What kind of stupidity is that, la? So compete. Fear. Fear comes in. Huh? You, you, know, you understand, huh? This is this right. is this is this is what it is. But 
uh, let's say that, but 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 my me saying like that doesn't solve the issue, rather. The issue is people feel insecure. So my advice is like that, like, except the fact that you are fearful of many, many things. But I want you to realize, la, first, that you will be, you will die, except that. We will all die. Once mm -hmm. you accept that, fear become less. Okay? Number two, and more profoundly, uh, because you do not understand yourself, you are therefore uncertain. There's uncertainty. So you have to know yourself, Lana. Know yourself. Try to find out how to know yourself, Lana. And within that, uh, there's one thing that is important. Do you have any values? What are those values that you have? Affirm that values. And ask yourself every time you feel insecure, does it match with your values? Is it, is it, is it, is it uh, exactly, uh, uh, is it me or is it someone else, Lana? Okay. These things are something that you need to look at from time to time. The second thing that I think is very, very important, if you are insecure, then you must write down, Lana, what are you insecure about? Write it down. When you start writing it down and say, hey, I'm insecure because of this, because of that, because of that, and you can reason it out, then you begin to understand what your fear is. Example, like Ikram, old people always fall down, isn't it? They fall from the step and from their ground and all that happens to them, right? Why? I'm not really sure, but is it because of uh, uh, weaker bones? Well, it, it is because of the fact that as we get older, our bone structure becomes very weak because the body is dying, the muscles are going away. But more importantly, our level of consciousness is very, very low. Mm -hmm. we, we depend on our memory. Uh, because we depend on our memory, what happens is that we always go back to when we were young. Yep. Huh? And when we go back to when we are young, we behave like young children too, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Some of the things that can also cause this insecurity is lack of sleep, as an example. If you don't have enough sleep, that can cause insecurity. It means that your body has not repaired itself. Mm -hmm. While values is something that you uh, you have, and those values cannot help you if your body itself is not uh, comfortable with itself. Okay? That, that's a, a, a part of it. Huh? <laughs> so, uh, uh, also, no? because the, 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 the need in the body is important. It needs mm -hmm. this, it needs that. Only you can take care of your own body, right or not. Nobody right. else can, right? So right. pay attention. Pay attention to your, to your own needs. That's extremely important. Huh? Okay. Always remember this. Huh? Your, you must become aware of uh, what is it that you are embarrassed about, about you. you. You feel insecure. You're embarrassed or something. You are overweight or underweight or, or, or you, you are emba embarrassed or something. Mm -hmm. What is it that you are, uh, you are afraid la, no? yeah. or embarrassed about? La, no? Okay. The, 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 the other thing that, that you need to also make very, very good uh, uh, discussion with 
is your own thoughts. Like you need to challenge your thoughts. Whatever comes, why cannot? What should I do? Why not? You should challenge yourself. Because remember, you have a lots of things that goes around you. And if you don't pay attention to your thoughts huh, and challenge it, you will drift by la, no? like an uh, ocean like that drift by. And that's something that I do not uh, recommend. La, no? Also, mm -hmm. la, no? if you know that certain people talk very rudely or, or, or they make you very uncomfortable, stay away. La. Correct, na? Yeah. Just, just stay away. La, no? Why encounter that? Also, uh, find time, la, no? Uh, to reflect on the good things that has happened to you in your life. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and Ikram, always la, allocate some time la, and be joyful. La, no? Yeah. Can or not? <laughs> what do you think? Yes. What do you think? In <laughs> One should definitely be joyful. Okay, you have to allocate some time for that, Luna. So instead of which, uh, you want to sit in one corner and brood yourself, ain't going to help, Luna. Okay, of course, uh, the important thing, Ikram, if mm -hmm. you want to, you want to be, fr you want to have a good relationship or good friendship with a friend or something. You, it's very difficult to find very good friends. Yes. But if you, uh, it, and that friendship must be valued. Right? There must be some value to that friendship. Yeah. If you don't handle your friendship well, you also get into trouble. Okay. But let me say this. Right? Okay. One of the problem of insecurity is because we are constantly comparing with ourselves. Right? If you compare with your own self, it's okay. But when you start to compare with outside outside people or outside things whatever that's outside you compare with that is not so good la. Mm -hmm. because you are comparing to become better hey if you compare and you feel that you can compete and you compete it's okay also realize that you may be not competent in that area la, no? yeah. but and you don't rec recognize it and you still want to go on continuing to be like that, that's also very, very bad. No? Um, also, this, no? I mean, you're already a working adult. So therefore, whatever has happened in your life, you can't change that. No? Isn't it? You must have learned something from it and move on. No? But we stay in our past and those past come to the present. That becomes another very big issue with human beings. They are always constantly going back, not going forward. Lana. That's why I say all the time, La Ikram, that A, uh, when people tell me, oh, I have difficulty in this, I always ask them, do you manage your own time? The time that you have inside you. You see, the clock, we used to look at a clock. That's only a measurement thing. La. But time is moving all the time, you know. And life, life and time, eh? life and time must go together. And if you, if you, if you, if you, if you, for instance, eh, uh, don't pay attention to it and you don't value time, what happens? Time will just float away. Karagana, Ikram. Huh? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, now un understand, under, you see, the understanding is important because time is inside you. You need to, to manage that, that time inside you. So you say, from the time you're born to the time you're dead, there is a time. If you don't manage it well, you also be insecure, la, no? Oh, that, 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 that you're rushing around trying to do many things, no? That means yeah. you're not a very organized person. You don't sit down and think about what you want to do and then allocate some time to get it done. 
and so on and so forth. But people don't do it. They just want to jump out of the uh, jump out of the car, and then you know they want everything to be there. <laughs> yeah, but that won't happen. You you must you must learn to handle your insecurity by making sure that you understand what is that insecurity about, Lano. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, do you think the entire world is insecure or not? I, at least a large majority of it. Significant majority, I'd say. Okay. Unfortunately, Ikram, you were born after the war. Okay. You have never been in a war. So you wouldn't know what a war is all about, right? No. I was born before the war. Okay, I have seen the Korean War, the Vietnam War, the atrocity done in the Middle East, and now I've seen the biggest war of Europe. I've seen it all. Because certain human beings coming from that part of the world, from the West, they only know one thing, and that is, they must fight, kill, and take. They don't know how to lead a peaceful, good life. They don't know that. I'm, I'm not making a wild statement, you know. I, I don't think they even understand what is life, you know. Because, because they, they think I can bring a gun, you give it to me, or I'll shoot you, right? Mm -hmm. Is that how is this? So we as Asians, huh, as Asians, we have valued life a lot. So that's why I think every Asian enjoyed their life. Your dad, as an example, didn't he enjoy his life? He did. Huh? You, you used to talk you know, you used to talk about him going all the way to uh, Indonesia and playing golf and taking you with taking you with him to play golf, right? Yep. You treasure those good things, right? Yes, absolutely. Did you ever felt insecure because your father is a better golfer than you? No. Were you a better golfer than him? I think I was. <laughs> oh, you see, there you are. <laughs> but, but, but you, you, you uh, take your, your mom as an example, okay? I mean, there are many a time uh, uh, she may also feel a little insecure, but somehow or other she'll come out of it, right? Correct. But what happens is when people are insecure, they want a quick fix, no? Mm -hmm. The quick fix is the is the problem now, Ikram? Correct. Uh, you, most of the problem is maybe financial, but those financial burden you created it yourself, lah. That's what I'm saying. Why do you go and buy a house, which you have to pay quite a lot of uh, some some money every month, lah? No. Usually, it's because of insecurity. Because why? You yeah? want people to. Uh, you, you think it'll buy you acceptance with, with people or your friends. So, so what other people think of you become important, right? Correct. Huh? Is that really important, Ikram? No. It's not important, is it? What you think of yourself is more important than what others think about you, right? Absolutely, yes. Huh? And because we... We, we spend a lot of time thinking about what other people think about us. We lose track of our own. Our, what do we want in life? La, no? Simple as that. We, we don't seem to recognize that. So in, in, in short, la, no? uh, things that, that have people must immediately recognize. I, my, my advice is like that. La. If you feel insecure, anything at all, sit down and identify them. Identify what are you insecure about. And don't tell me, well, the education system in this country is no good. I want to go to America. Do you have the money to go there? 
do you have that kind of money or not? Then, are you then, are you asking me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, not 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 just to go simply like that. So okay, what is education? Broaden your mind, right? Yeah. You can talk to your daughter every day, show her, let her read a bit. Okay, teach her how to read and write in mathematics. Uh, sure, it occur. From that alone, you can develop her own security, right? Give her the chance yeah. to move around and do whatever she wants to do rather than restricting her, isn't it? Yeah. So we, we want to control our children. Uh, got to be like this, got to be like that. Uh, you, you know, Ikram, this is... Uh, this is what the world is all about. So in, insecurity is also created by the parents themselves in causing this problem. Many children feel very insecure because of their parents. They take the child all the way to the gate. By the way, Ikram, did your father or mother send you to school? Huh? Yes, they did. They did, huh? Yep. Oh, I got two. I had two sons. One passed away, you know. I'm telling you, I never sent them even one day to a school. I never did. Neither really? did my wife, okay? Never. You have to find your own way to school. Wow. <laughs> they have to learn, no? Because I never went to school. So, therefore, you want to go to school? Yeah, sure, go. I can register, pay all that. No? You go to school on your own. Then, of course, as, as soon as they can ride a bicycle, they ride up, uh, they rode a bicycle to school. Mm -hmm. So, so insecurity, sometimes we created ourselves. So they also have a chance to develop and grow and become who they want to be or what they want to do. It's all up to them. La, no? That's the way I see it. La. But parents, adults must also be. So now the adults themselves, they have reached the stage now here. At this, at this point in their life. Maybe some of them are 50 years old or so. But if, even, if, even at that age, they're insecure about many things. Donna. But try to identify what is that insecurity that makes them feel that way. There must, there must be a reason why they feel insecure. Do you feel insecure, Ikram? These days, no. They're rarely. There are times, yes. Um, but once I realize I am being insecure, I correct it. And it's usually it stems from uh, fear. What kind of fear? Uh, can I do uh, this task that has been given to me? Um, so it, it could be a fear from past experience. Uh, I, I, I didn't do it well in the past. Uh, mm. Should I be accepting or taking it up? Mm. So those insecurities, uh, they do crop up from time to time. But then I remind myself, as what you thought, that uh, uh, you always treat information as it is today, not uh, from the past. Mm. And uh, so, you know, what's, ha what's happened in the past has happened in the past. I'm a different person today. And there's, there's new information in my hands. I can treat it differently and separately. And, uh, mm. that, that, at least those, those insecurities. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so whenever that fear comes to you, how do you deal with it? I write down. I do exactly what you suggested. <laughs> write. Uh, uh, so it's, it's why. Why am I having this fear? Um, I, you've taught me to write why a few times. Why I'm having this fear, so then answer comes, and you write why again, and then why again. So you go to the core uh, of the issue, like where exactly is this fear stemming uh -huh. from? Uh -huh. And it's 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 usually related. So in my case, it's always related to uh, people hmm. uh, being being accepted, being not wanting people to look at me as uh, a failure or one who's not able to do the things that I'm supposed to do. Really, huh? Wow. Mm. Ikram, that is one of the things that you must let go. La. 
if you fail, you fail. La. I mean, so what? La? You say you, you, you fail in something. So what? Uh, you will die because of that? No. That's, that's actually another thing you've told me before. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so when you, when you consider that, right, the worst that could happen is actually not the worst. <laughs> then the insecurity fades away. See, constantly I, I go around this over and over and over again. Huh? I never, I tell you again, huh? I, always, I always look at my values. What am I good at? What is it? This, this morning I had a conversation with somebody and I said, I have never ever lied in my life. I will not lie because you told me to do so. I said, no, I will not. Yes, this morning it happened to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I will. I, I knew seven years ago, I agreed to something. I agreed to it. But I've already spoken about this to somebody else who gave me what needs to be done, which I did. But now, but now it has come back again. <laughs> but okay, I will deal with it. No issue. Because this is me. So my values are very important to me. Lana. What mm -hmm. other people think about me, Ikram, it's not, I don't even can't be bothered. I just can't be bothered because I can't change your thinking about me. Can I change your opinion about me? No. Only you can change your opinion, right? Correct or not? So that part, always affirm that value all the time. Also, number two, huh? please remember to prioritize your own need. There are so many, uh, Ikrama, so many other people who have different, different needs and all that. But your own need must be prioritized. If not, you'll feel insecure. I always prioritize my need. Whatever that is, I have defined that, okay? I, the third thing which I do always is I will not, I will accept, a, I, you know, if, there, if, if something is going to embarrass me, I'll become aware of it or awkward situation, I will always find ways to get around it or don't go there. Oh. I don't want to. Okay? And you know, Ikram, as I taught you before, I always, uh, always challenge my own thoughts. Mm -hmm. Whatever the thoughts are, good or bad, I will challenge it. I will. The fifth thing I do, huh? I always try to keep good companies. I do. I will surround myself with people whom I can speak to them in not completely transparent way, at least in a way that we can discuss and talk and give opinions and keep the company going. Lana. I do that. And as you know very well, I don't have many friends. That can. Also, when I find that things will happen or things will not happen my way or things will be a little, I step back, I step back. I step away from it. I do that. Okay. Why? Because as we see what I cannot do, I, it, nothing wrong. If yeah. what I can do, I don't do, then that's a mistake. But if what I can't do, if I don't do it, it's okay. Lah. Also, uh, reflecting on the things. I always look on things that has been successful in my life. Whatever I've done, I always think, hey, oh, that is good. That, uh, I, uh, I appreciate those things that I do. Like, for instance, time has become the center of my life. Okay? I use it to the extent that I value it very much. Mm -hmm. I also allocate time in order that I can also be uh, happy, which I do every evening or so. I have that. Okay. So the few things I, that, that I do, and, and that's the few things that I recommend. No, no? 
unless of course you have something else that you want to add in. No, nope, I think you've covered it all quite well. Dr. Venga, we've got um, uh, two more minutes. Um, would you like to wrap up what we've so basically we've covered um, uh, what is uh, so why do people feel insecure? We've come at the root causes. One of it is fear. The other one is um, uh, not having enough uh, information on 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 what you uh, on on the things that you you're going to do. Um, then we've also talked about how it affects someone, and you've covered some of the areas of how you can deal with it. Uh, how would you want to wrap up? Uh, this, this episode. Again, as I began to say, you know, insecurity is manifested by your own. You manifest that insecurity. You are the one that create the insecurity within yourself. And then it comes out of you. It's not coming from outside. You know? It's like this. You know? If if some your neighbor thinks you are a monkey, what can you do about it? La? Mm -hmm. If much. your neighbor thinks you are a monkey, what can you do about it? Nothing. Can't, can't do much. So my, my, I always told myself, la, no? if he or she thinks I'm a monkey, carry on, la, no? it's okay. I won't behave like a monkey mm -hmm. because you think I'm a monkey. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. You see or not? Yeah. I will not behave because you think that's the way I should behave. I will not. What is right for me may not be right for you. And my values are very different from yours. Sure. So if I, if I try to mimic you and, and try to become, uh, to do the things that you are going to do, you think that will be, that's why I don't believe in congregation and everything get together and, you know, and then everything break up and people can't live on their own. I will survive. I will survive. <laughs> okay. That's what I think. Lana. So accept death. As you, we are all insecure because we will die anyway. Yeah. What can you put a list of what you undertake with you? Can I? No. So we, we create a lot of nonsense within us, Lana. So ultimately, you would say, uh, accept that you have no choice when you're born, accept that you have no choice when you die, and most of the insecurities will go away. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly, Kram. I hope that uh, I hope that this explains some of it, Lana. The, 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 my, my, I mean, you can you 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 know there's so many things else, la, But just simple things like this, la. Identify what are you insecure about. Mm -hmm. You know, Ikram. You want your children to be like you, right? Yes. That's insecurity. Mm -hmm. The children should become who they want to be. Correct. You're right. Absolutely. I don't know. You are. Simple as that, long. When you are insecure, you make everybody around you also insecure. So what kind of life is that? <laughs> okay, Ikram. I can keep on talking like this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Venga. So that wraps up today's episode on how to handle insecurities. I hope that was useful for you, our audience. Our next episode of Personal Development for Entrepreneurs is happening on December 7th. It's the first Wednesday, as always, at 8 p.m. Till we see you again, have a great month and one filled without insecurities. <laughs> Good night.